everybody, it's Dave. Amazing news. On Saturday, March 3rd, 2018, John, Cody, and I will be performing our first ever live recording of the podcast at the Comedy Sports Theater in Sacramento. If you are interested, it'll be at 10 o'clock. Tickets are $8 at the door. Or if you want to come to the Comedy Sports show beforehand, starting at 8 o'clock, it's $12 for that and you can stay for free. The theater is at 2230 Arden Way, Suite B, Sacramento, California, 95825. And it's going to be amazing. So we really hope you come and check it out. If you want to buy tickets ahead of time, you can go to cszacramento.com slash tickets and take a look. Once again, that's March 3rd, Saturday, March 3rd at 10 p.m. All right, let's get going. You're wasting all the time. Another hour gone. Did you hear the chime? You're wasting all the time. Recorded for Thursday, February 22nd, 2018. Hello. Hey. 2016, really, John? <laughs> and welcome to Wasting All the Time, a podcast. My name is Dave. I'm John. I'm Cody. And we are going to waste all of your time with our special guest, <gasps> Mr. Mike Bowles. Oh, snap. Hi. <laughs> welcome back. <laughs> Thank you. Cotter. Connor? Cotter. Cotter. Welcome back. Cotter is the name of the thing from a long time ago. Oh, so it was mm. a reference right over my head. Yeah. Yes. Dave's old. Like, like old 70s movie, yeah? Yeah, I think so. Dave's yeah. old and weird. Maybe Apparently. 60s. Oh, yeah. Could be. My references are always on point. Is that Dave's s- decrepit. Sydney Poitier, or am I thinking of something else? Oh, no, John's weird. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm thinking of To Sir With Love. Oh, yes, yes. Not Too Wong Fu, thanks for everything, Julie Newmar? No, that was the 90s. Oh, okay. <laughs> Reference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is episode 259. Wow. It's a lot. And uh, we're going to kick it off in a manner that sounds like this. That was good. That was Thank you. Brilliant. Twitter shins. Twitter shins. Welcome to Twitter Shin Rapid Balls, where we find the top three tweets on the entire internet tube blogosphere, and we read them for your listening pleasure. Our pundits are going to answer them. Now remember, these tweets are not addressed to us, they're just addressed to the internet, but we have taken it upon ourselves to be the glorious, generous, time-wasting people that we are and answer them for you. We are the internet. Pretty much. And our opinions matter. <laughs> Hashtag, our opinions matter. That's good. That's right, we'll take that. Number three, the top number three tweet on the entire internet from Sean Bolton. At I am Sean Bolton. Sure. Where would I be if my mom had never taught me to hold my sleeves before I put on my jacket? Dave. What up, Sean? Hey, man, your mom is really looking out for you, and you ought to appreciate that. You best respect. Um, You would be dead in a gutter, sleeveless, in Seattle. <laughs> the harsh and slightly romantic truth. John Rebuttal. You would be president right now. You would be president because your mother has been coddling you with with giving you the easy button to this point. And so <laughs> if you had been forced to learn that on your own, to hold your sleeves when you put your jacket on, you'd be the motherfucking president of the United States. Well, uh, welcome back, coddler. Welcome back. <laughs> Aggressive and loud. Mike, counter counter rebuttal. Uh, quote me on this one. You would probably tear out your sleeves and become the coolest kid on the block. <laughs> Oh, sleeveless jackets. I like where this yeah, is headed. They'll take you places way further than the president will take you. Yeah, like the local McDonald's. <laughs> Excellent life advice all around. Can do. Number two, from Justin, Australian flag. So I guess I have to attempt an Australian accent. At Football Justin. That was not Australian. Okay. Treasure. <laughs> all right, treasure, mate. <laughs> is a finisher really a finisher anymore? Mike. Uh, no, actually. Now that when you finish something, you're not actually done with it. So you got to keep going so that you can finish it a second time. So really, a finisher is more of a midway point. Convoluted and paradoxical. John, rebuttal. A real finisher would already know the answer to that question, which means you are not a finisher, sir. You are not a finisher. 
Keeping up with the aggression. I like it. Dave. What up, Justin? Hey, ma'am. A real finisher has to live in Finland still, so that's what <laughs> determines it. Technically correct, which is the best kind. And number three, the top number. No, number one. Haha, <laughs> numbers are hard. The top number one tweet on the entire internet. At, no, from, oh, I need to drink more. Day Chanel at Superstar Girl. Not a lot of, there's some missing vowels in there. People don't believe in just being friends. Dave. What up, Superstar Girl? Hey, uh, you know, some people still do believe in just being friends, and other people think that that's a thing of the past, and that you can't just be friends. You have to be friends with benefits, which, you know, if you're thinking Roth IRA or, you know, some sort of pension plan or something, that could be good. I would hold out for medical. Thought that was going to be sexy. It was not. John. Okay, I do not believe in just being friends because I do not believe in friends. We all exist in a Darwinian nightmare of have, have not, strong versus weak. You better be the strong or you will get weaked. And eaten, apparently. Mike, counter rebuttal. I definitely do believe in just being friends uh, with everyone all the time. I think if you go any further than that, you're just bound for uh, depression and <clears throat> slow, miserable nights and fights. On the couch, sleeping, listening. Way to bring it down. <laughs> this has been your latest edition of Rebel. That was aggressive. Mm, Ended wow. on a great note. Yeah. Just mm. Very high. <laughs> 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 Was Mike originally told me, he's like, you need more energy at the beginning. You should do that Twitter thing. And I was like, all right. And then he comes on the show and drops us into domestic abuse. Oh, that's a great dispute. idea. And John was like, let me just do that, but better. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. He does that sometimes. Get weaked. Get mm. weaked. <laughs> I, <don't remember. laughs> I think it helps when you've done the show 259 times. It does help. It does. Although I was not present for every one of those 259 times. No, you were not. That Even better. <laughs> I wonder how many you've been here for. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe Stop and contemplate this. 240. It's a good sum. I Let me just like start probably on the more than that. Okay, episode one, yeah. <laughs> episode two, yeah. <laughs> what have you been up to? To what up have you been? Vibes. All right. Can't well, vibes. This is where we talk about what we have been up to. Would anyone like to share? Uh, hi. <laughs> um, I've been up to, well, not, not a whole lot. I'm, I'm currently outside of acting, which is, which is kind of nice because mm. I just get to sort of sit around um, and work on some personal projects, which I'm hoping are going to go somewhere. But mm -hmm. the other big thing was I picked up that new Monster Hunter World video game, How and that's it? all I've been doing. <laughs> nice. Sounds like John. Just it's <laughs> awful. Like I, I hadn't owned any of the newest consoles, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna pick this up and I'll try this, and then I get home and I'm like, huh, what? Oh, I have to go to bed four hours ago. <laughs> <laughs> Been there. Well, I have to be at work in two hours, so I may as well just stay up. <laughs> yeah, and that's what happens when I get into Minecraft too. Yeah. Just like, Ooh, block, 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 block. It's three in the morning. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> yes. For these crenellations, I need to finish them. Mm. I, uh, I've been playing the. Uh... The latest Tomb Raider game, finally, like Ooh. two years after it came out. <laughs> um, that's been a lot of fun. Um, similar issue of, of playing and then realizing, oh, I needed to be in bed four hours ago. Yes. Um, Got to get those quick time events, right? <laughs> yeah, thankfully, there are way fewer in this one. Um, that was one thing in the, the first, the first uh, game of the reboot series that I did not care for it was all the quick time events. Um, but even that was not as bad as the, uh, the first uncharted game where the, the final boss was just one big quick time event. Boo. Yeah. F that noise. That is absolute garbage. I it was terrible say. for our listeners who don't know what we're talking about. Quick time events are when the cinematic is playing in the background and just a button will pop up on screen like X. So you press X and your character does a cool thing. And then uh, another button pops up, and you press that one, and it's really oh no! It, they're they're largely derided in the large parts of the gaming community because it just 
you don't play a game anymore. You're watching a movie and you just push buttons to keep the movie going. Right. It's very, very much, hey, boys and girls, how do you like Simon Says? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And to be fair, the uh, the first Tomb Raider reboot game ended in the same way, but it it felt <laughs> different somehow. I don't know. Like, it, it was not as finicky on the, like, you have to be exactly in time with the button presses. And then, like, it had some you know, kinetic value, like pulling triggers and stuff. Huh. Um, Something. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. I've been doing a lot of that. <laughs> a lot also cool. cooking. Ooh. All right. No, nope, my life has been boring. Me too. <laughs> Great. Let's move it right along. Upwards, downwards, forwards, backwards. I say we go through words. Well. Now it's time to play Fruit Words. Fruit Words is a game we play utilizing cards of two kinds and colors. Red cards are nouns and green cards are adjectives. We will draw one card of each color and improvise a scene inspired by these words. Dave, draw the cards before I choke. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Thanks, Dave. I don't know why I didn't see that. (laughs) Okay, let's do it. (laughs) How about thought-provoking wizards? Uh, Xandar, could you come over here for a sec? Yeah, uh, yeah. What, yeah. what do you need? Uh, so I'm just looking at uh, the uh, the annotations you've been doing in my spellbook here. Uh, yeah, for the uh, the abjurations. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I like a lot of what you're doing. I don't quite understand this symbol here, though. Uh, it's a circle. <laughs> right, but what is it signifying uh, in the context of the uh, the basic abjure spell. Uh, well, well you, you need to draw a circle on the ground. Uh, ah! Yeah. Okay. Well, I feel like that could be perhaps better better represented. Uh, I think it's, it's really left open to interpretation. Yeah. Uh, uh. This is magic. It would be better <laughs> if there was less open to interpretation. <laughs> I, I think like, that the, uh, well, I mean, the, the energies, right, of the spells are... They're they're kind of meant to like flow and you know and they really want to like open up to what the possibilities are because like we're we're, we're you know we're messing with uh, okay probabilities you're talking, you're talking like a sorcerer right now and it's kind of scaring me Sandar so um, I mean I, I, there's that great new book that recently came out did you read it are you talking about Melfluenza's book I <laughs> know <laughs> uh, that was the one on disease. Oh, oh! Um, I'm talking about uh, Car- Carkit's uh, treatises on uh, dragon spells. On drag, you are reading that sorcerer shit. I, I mean, there's some really interesting like ideas okay, in look, it. That- okay, look. Okay. Hey, Xander, uh, how's it going, man? Hey, it's going pretty good. I got that signed copy of that book you wanted. Okay. Oh, you oh can't, hey, give me you one. Can't, you can't be here. You can't be here right I, now. Come on. This is it's, a wizard's lab. It's, right. It's volume. It's two. adorable. Did, did you? Got all these spell components on the wall. Yeah, because you know <laughs> what? Such a nerd. Some of us have to work for this stuff. Okay, no, it's really we're sad. Not, we don't just roll the. <laughs> we just we don't just hit the genetic lottery. No, like, you didn't. Like, ooh, ooh! Someone in my family tree banged a dragon somewhere, and so now I can do magic. No, I have to work yeah. for this. Yeah, <laughs> you're what like eighty? Okay, okay. <laughs> Magic ages you, okay? It does. We know that. You look terrible. Shut up. I, you could probably cast a spell or something to make yourself look better. Okay, I could, but then that would age me even more. I know. <laughs> Maybe try my circle spell. You have a circle spell? Yeah. What does it do? I draw it's a circle on the basic ground. basic abjuration uh-huh. spell. Yeah, and then uh, it shields you from the outside. Huh. Yeah. She had one of those at the door, so I couldn't come in. Uh, I, there is a big sign over the door that says no sorcerers allowed oh really i guess I, you ignored that. i totally ignored it that was great yeah. he needed to deliver my book anyway xandar you probably have the makings of a sorcerer uh-huh. so you should read through that book and uh give it a shot i just, like this guy just feel the wild magic you know just kind of feel the magic just yeah. uh can't don't write the shit wild down magic. his parents were carpenters i see see well, well, wizards my, are my so father elitist. was a carpenter what so, so my father was a carpenter. Right, and your mom was an orc. We know. Yeah. I mean, that's that's kind of a racist way of looking at things. Yeah, I just see more and more from you wizards. Just classist, racist, what's next? 
It's okay. You can be in a this person can be a half orc. It's no big deal. He, this person is a half orc. Hi. Hi. Yeah. No, it's cool. <laughs> we like him. Zedra's cool. Yeah. You know, he doesn't worship Grumsh or anything. Does he want to? Do you want to worship Grumsh? I mean, sometimes I think about it sometimes when when I don't have the hostility oh, that I need <laughs> and, and I feel really like I'm passive in the workplace. Um, the wizards, man, they're keeping you down. Try, try one like right now. Just try to cast a spell without writing shit down. Okay, here, here we go. All right. Did it work? Hey, guys. Um, oh. It's way past closing. You guys are going to have to leave the cafe. Oh, yeah. Sorry, man. Oh, yeah, we'll get out of here. Yeah, I know. Oh, sorry, sorry, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> How about misplaced television programming? That's television programming. That's been misplaced. Oh, is it? Uh, okay. Uh, I need I need all my PAs here real quick. We have uh, something a little bit of an emergency. Okay, sure thing. Um, hey. you need a coffee? No, coffee. no, no. Oh, no. Well, I will make a coffee run right no, now. That's no. I need you to look you for. I'm gonna go get no, coffee. I, no, don't go get. Okay. Uh, okay. All right then, Jake. You, this is yeah. all on you. <sighs> Sorry. We're yeah. What? Uh, what? I'm usually yeah. he's right. What? Yeah. Then he can walk. Uh, okay. Okay. He can walk. He has two <laughs> legs, right? Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, well, no, yeah. yeah, 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 no, yeah. Okay, it's just weird. Yeah. Hey, Jake, are you going to drive me or what? No, he's not going to drive I, you. I'll. You have legs. Catch a lift. I'll, I'll get you next time. <sighs> or Uber or something. I don't know. What are, do whatever it is poor people do. So we are, we need to start shooting uh, Jason McMurder, the uh -huh. new detective series, and a lot of the props are missing. Well, what's the property department say? They told me to go come to you because they're working on something else, and I don't have time to whip their asses into shape. So I need you to find them. There's only there's only one other show filming on this lot. The property department lost props, and yeah. they won't find them. Right, it's a union job. They're on union break for the next. Okay, what? Do you have a list of what's missing? Yeah. Uh, okay, we have squibs. They're like packets full yeah. of blood. They just explode. There's new ones that they just explode. Like it's like a Bluetooth signal or something. They're not wired up to anything. Oh, they're wireless squibs. Yeah, it's it's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bloody knives. Um, there's are uh, they in a bag or are they just like individual? You don't know. No, no. Okay. They wouldn't tell me. Um, there's like a blow up doll dressed like a hooker. Uh huh. Now, the only other show on this lot is the Happy Sharing Fun Time, that yeah. kids show. So yeah. I'm just a little concerned that if we can't find them, things may get a little haywire. Well, you think they stole them? Ah, uh, they're they're kid actors. I don't know what goes through their heads. Hey guys, here's that coffee. I there's one for you. Uh, for you. Thanks. Sure yeah, I mean, thing. you didn't have to, but yeah, thank th you. That was really yeah. fast. Why? Yeah. How, why does he drive you? It's a it's a golf cart. It's hella fun. Yeah. It took like 15 seconds. Anyway, just spread out and look for those props. Go check with the kids show. See sure. if they've got anything. Okay. What are we looking for? Go now. Go go go. <laughs> Timmy, you put down those blocks. What did I say about that, Jimmy? Oh. Mm, there's too many Emmys in this show. Uh, uh, Which hey. one am I? Hey, so uh, I don't know exactly what we're doing here, but um, am I, Jimmy? I guess there's props missing. Or Timmy. Do you have, like, blood? Do you have? No, it's wireless squibs. Yeah, blood. Wireless, like, like, like fake blood packs? Yeah. At, in a kid's show? What's a wireless squib? Uh, actually, yeah, we do. Um, here, over here. <laughs> uh, here, Timmy. Uh, Why give me that. Oh, it's, I was going to eat you. it uh -huh. for YouTube. Great. Don't eat that. Uh, this is fake blood. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This is fake? Mm-hmm. I think. I want to go viral. It smells kind of coppery. Uh, yeah. It's new. It's Gertrude, what are you doing over there? Put that down. Don't want to. Oh, is that one of those knives we're looking for? Yes, that's a knife. I'm going to stab Gertrude. you. No, don't. It does not retract into the handle. Oh, these are like real bloody knives? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah they're, really, they're really good for the show. Over at uh, the studio. <laughs> yeah. It's, you know, it's a budget. Yeah. We, we really something. like to make sure that the kids are, you know, genuinely frightened. <laughs> I'm frightened. Good. Good, kid. Life is, life is terrifying. I'm going to die. <laughs> Ooh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sooner than you think. What? Yeah. Let me. <laughs> get over here. Let me. Let me. Come here. What do you have in your mouth? Mm-hmm. What do you have in your mouth? Mm-hmm. Give it to me, let me. Mm -hmm. Give it to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, oh, here's another one of those okay. small knives. Oh, yeah. Hey, look at that. There you go. Uh, have you, a little bleedy. This is a weird question. Mm -hmm. Have you seen a blow up doll? A, a blow up doll? Yeah. Uh, dressed as a hooker would dress. 
Yeah, it's behind that door. Yeah, here, come here. On set? Uh, yeah, yeah. It's, don't worry, it's locked. Oh, it's uh, <clears throat> not locked. It's, but it's, it's right here. <laughs> when are we going to play with the Barbie again? It looks like Daddy's special friend. Uh, we'll take that back. Now. Uh, yeah. Thanks. Exactly what kind of show is this? Thanks for coming by, guys. Come on, kids, let's go. It's a fair Yay. question. <laughs> Excellent. That went to a dark, dark place. It really yeah. did. <laughs> See, absolute chill showrunner on his time. He was the fake blood and the knives. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. That was what, fun. What? What? <laughs> but I think it's about time to move on. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. So let's take a quick break and we'll be right back after this. Hey, everybody. I hope you're having a blast and a half listening to the episode this week. I know we had fun making it. If, for whatever reason, you wish to contact us, here's how you do it. First of all, you can go to wastingallthetime.com slash contact, where we have a contact form to submit listener-suggested scenes, and another one for questiones. If you want to go the old-fashioned way, like you're in the 90s or something, you can email us at timewastepod at gmail.com, except Gmail wasn't around then. But anyway, if you want to keep your correspondence to 280 characters or less, go to Twitter. We're at TimeWastePod. Find us on Facebook.com slash TimeWastePod, where we recommend you like, follow, whatever Facebook is doing these days. And if you want to risk having your voice played on our podcast, you can give us a call at area code 916-235-3337. You can also text us there. We call it the hotline. Anyhow, however you get a hold of us, we look forward to hearing from you. Now, let's get back to the show. Welcome back. That was scintillating. Mm. Whatever it was. Let's... Certainly wasn't not. Kick it into gear with... A classic segment. Do it. Classic. Do it. It It goes like this. Do it. Well, every week on the podcast, I choose an improv game and we try to play it. And this week's improv game is Voices from Heaven. Oh, yeah. Brown chicken, brown cow. Four players uh, whose occupations are determined. These four characters have died together, and they are going to tell us how that came about. The game is played in three rounds. In every round, each player offers some information about how they happened to die. At the end of the third (laughs) round, they should all be dead. Okay. Been a while since we've done this one. Mm -hmm. Almost a year. Almost uh, ten months. Oh, sure. That works, too. Dave, you are a masseuse to the stars. Okay. Or a masseur, technically. John, you are an Instagram star. (laughs) Social media mogul. Okay. Mike, you are an architect. Cody, you're an electrician that only fixes very old video game consoles. (laughs) Atari 2600, here I come. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I dropped that shit. <laughs> uh, hi. Uh, how's it going? I, I, I think this is probably where we talk about how we ended our life. Um, unfortunately, I think that mine, I was kind of, well, okay. So it started with me standing at the top of the last building I designed. Staring out with the wind blasting across my face, thinking it was never going to get any better than this. Looking out over the edge, looking down and kind of questioning what my life had brought me up to this point. And, you know, I was was really in a dark place, but but I took a step back. Uh, Unfortunately, that's kind of where everything went haywire. So they called me out to this building. Some kid somewhere had dug up something in Grandpa's attic. 
and when they moved out to the big city, he brought his little Atari 2600 with him. Well, I'm the only guy in the area that can fix these, what on account of I got lots of old electronical parts lying around. I'm a bit of a collector. So I'm at the building and, you know, I'm knocking on random doors because I, I forgot the work order. I didn't know which building, I, which door I was going to. Knocking on doors. No, no, no one's even ever heard of Atari no more. It's a lost art, I tell you what. I tell you what. Lost art. Door to door to door to door to door. And I figure this building's a bit stuffy. I'm going to go up to the roof, maybe get me what, a fresh a breath air. Or a breath of fresh air, as some people who speak English correctly might say. So I goes up to the roof, and uh, I see this weird, scrawny-looking guy just standing there, staring at the city. And I figure, maybe he knows he looks special, he looks important, or he's not doing anything important, so I'm just going to bug him and see what's going on. When I'm walking over to him, and apparently somebody from one of the doors I knocked on and didn't stand around to talk to them was a little upset with me, and they chased me through the hallway up onto the roof. So, uh, I'm a masseuse, and, uh, I do house calls, you know, uh, you know, you just put in the order through an, uh, a phone application, and, and I'll show up and, you know, work out the knots and, uh, do deep, deep tissue and all that, uh, a little bit of hot stone therapy, um, and so, you know, uh, on this particular day, I had a, a real sort of special, uh, customer, he's a big name, and, in um, things on the internet with pictures and followers and, you know, who knows what else. He uh, had a penthouse suite uh, up on the 47th floor of a, of a building. It's a beautiful view, perfect view of the, uh, the new building that just went up across the street. And, uh, uh, you know, we were there working it out. And, um, uh, you know, I caught a glimpse through the window, that beautiful wall-to-wall, floor-to-ceiling window of a bit of a commotion up on that new building across the way. So check it. This is Squirtlegasm69 coming to you from the afterlife. Totally going to grab this. Totally going to grab this later once I find my phone. But let me tell you. So here's how it's going down. So I'm... I'm I'm getting ready. I'm getting get my stuff together to go to the the ribbon cutting ceremony at this new building across the street. So I'm getting I'm getting the, my, the kinks worked out. And, you know, you know. I hire one of those those big name masseuse guys. Comes over. He's got these strong hands. These strong hands. He's he's just working my meat. You know. And so so that's going on. And then he's he he just like stops all of a sudden. Um, and I'm like, hey, what the hell? What the hell? I've got meat that needs working. I got a, I got a ribbon cutting. I got a selfie that shit. Okay. This doesn't happen on its own. This isn't luck. You got to maintain this brand. Okay. So I'm look, I, I'm like, what, what the hell? And I look out and I see there's some kind of commotion going on over at the building. There's this guy, there's this guy, scrawny looking guy, kind of boring looking. He's standing on the edge like he's going to jump, but then he doesn't jump. Instead, he steps, he steps back. And I'm like, okay, cool. He's not going to kill himself. But then this other guy, like, runs out like he's being chased by somebody and, and like, bumps into the guy just as he steps back. And, oh, man, it didn't go good from then. So I'm standing on the edge of this roof, <laughs> and I turn around, and what do I know? There's a guy right there who just burst through the door, and I'm looking at him thinking, wow, what's this weird-looking guy? He's got a huge balding patch on the top of his head. And like a sort of a bomber's jacket, I would I would say. But I think what really caught my eye was a Commodore 64 patch on the side of his jacket. And I thought, oh, my God, this guy. And I point at him, but he's rushing towards me, trying to get to me something. And he bumps into me something fierce. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> I go toppling back right off the edge of the building. But I catch on. And everything was fine. And I, I thought, this is great. And... Uh, until he looked over the edge real fast and I got scared again. And I fell probably 10 stories before I landed on the window cleaning rack. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> so I'm standing there with this guy who just looks absolutely befuddled. And uh, he doesn't really know what to say. I don't know what to say. And I stand up and I look across to the window across from me. And what do I know it? It's one of the most famous YouTube stars. I've ever seen. And he's getting a masseuse with my masseuse. 
I love that guy. Really hot stone therapy? I tell you, it's the best thing for you. So I managed to pick myself up or stand it on this window cleaning rack thing after the weird boring guy pulls us both over the edge. I'm just trying to get away from a crazy tenant and he's like, oh, no, we're falling over the edge. Luckily, it was only about 10 stores or so and I landed on the weird boring guy. So I'm totally unharmed. He was bleeding or something. I, I didn't pay much attention. <coughs> and I look across the street and some guy's like putting stones on another guy. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. I know, right? Like some kind of weird satanic ritual. And the guy with the stones on him is starting to get up and flail around. And I'm thinking, this guy's in trouble. Like he's got stones on him. He's reaching for his phone. And I'm thinking, he's trying to call the cops. And so, you know, I got to do like the heroes of my day did. And I got to spring into action. So I reach and I push against the window of the building that the cleaning thing is on. And I start swinging it, trying to get some momentum. Just back and forth, I'm thinking, we get enough swing on this thing and we can get over to the other building, jump through the window and be a hero. And then we'll do, we'll stop this satanic stone ritual, whatever. And maybe he's got some old, you know, classic 8-bit Nintendo games that he'll give me as gratitude because I'm such a hero. Uh, so we start pushing and the weird boring guy is... I, he, his eyes got really wide and he said something, but I wasn't paying attention because I was so focused on my hero ship. Uh, but the wind started to pick up, and so eh, we didn't head quite in right, the right direction. So the guy goes over the edge of the building. He falls like, I don't know, 10 stories and lands on a, on a window cleaning uh, platform. The other guy uh, that was pushing him uh, fell down too. And they both looked like, man, 10 stories. Holy cow. How are they moving? What is happening? Obviously, they're injured. So I got to take all of my medicinal knowledge and put it to use. So I grab all of the hot stones off of this, off of this internet star, and I put them into a bucket, and I run out to the balcony, and I start throwing the hot stones to try to get some contact with the guys to heal them up. And um, it was hard to do because they started swinging the thing around. And uh, I don't know what, what that was uh, meant to accomplish. They were really banging up the building bad. It's a shame. It's a brand new building. A lot of cracked windows. Uh, a lot of scuff marks. Um. Anyway, so, you know, I was leaning over the edge to try to, you know, get a little bit closer so I could, my arm was tired from throwing all the rocks. And one of the guys, I'm pretty sure he said, Hey, that guy's throwing rocks at us. <laughs> and uh, I was like, yeah, you get it. This is what's going to save you. Um, uh, but I think, uh, uh, the, the Google star was pissed off at me for interrupting his healing session. Uh, and he ran out onto the balcony with me. Great. So, so I knew pretty quick, like this, this is my moment. This is like my hero gasm moment. Okay. So, so like the guys, they fall, they fall onto the painter thing. And my masseuse guy, he runs out. I don't know. He's crazy or something. That's the best ones are. And he starts like throwing rocks at him. Cause like nothing can be easy. Right. He's like the donkey Kong to my Mario right now. Okay. That's how it's going down. And these guys over in the painters thing, they're my princess peach. And they start swinging and that thing back and forth. And, and I run out and this is why I keep a grappling hook in my, in any, any apartment that I live in, I have a grappling hook. And so I throw my grappling hook and I gram that real quick. Cause you gotta, you gotta, I throw my grappling hook out and I, I, uh, I tie it. I tie it off on the masseuse. Cause he's a big sturdy guy. And then I full on, like take my belt off, put it over the string. And I go to slide down that thing and save those guys from whatever they're doing. So I had lost a lot of blood. <laughs> and I'm sitting here on this swinging window cleaning rack with this kind of odd looking guy in a bomber jacket. I'm thinking, <laughs> this is not going to end well. So I look him dead in the eyes and I say, that's a great patch you have. <laughs> As I said, I'd lost a lot of blood. So we're swinging back and forth and it was really bringing me back to my childhood. 
Um, <clears throat> which really <laughs> was uh, the point was struck when I was struck with those stones. <laughs> So I'm thinking about like, my past life and like what it had been and I'm on a swing and I'm getting hit with rocks and I like I'm six again, you know, <laughs> when this grappling hook comes flying across and hooks onto it. And then this famous YouTube star is sliding towards me like Batman or like my, my superhero of choice. And I'm thinking this is it. And I reach out for him. This is it. I'm going to be saved. And I slip on my own blood. And fall the rest of the distance. They say you pass out before you hit the ground. It's not true. So we're getting this thing swinging as much as we possibly can. I'm most of the momentum. The weird skinny board guy is not helping a lot. He's lost a bunch of blood and he's saying things. He said something to me. It was probably in Swahili. I didn't understand a word of it. It was just mumbling incoherency. And we're, we're swinging and we're finally starting to get some momentum where I'm thinking I'll be able to save these guys. Save that guy. From the satanic ritual, maybe save the Satanist too, who knows? And I, I look back up from the blood and the swinging, and there's a rope tied to this Satan ritual guy? And the other guy, I like, uh, escaped the hail of stones that was coming from the Satan guy, and he's sliding towards us? I, 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 I didn't know what to make of it. And so I, I look over and... and Go to talk to the boring guy and be like, hey, what are you what is going on? And he's already, he just jumped off the edge. I don't know, it was too much for him. He couldn't take it. It was just, it was his last life, and down he went. And so <laughs> there's a the guy, the guy's sliding in, and I'm thinking, this is this is pretty impressive. He's got a lot of momentum coming in. He must have a really good plan on how he's gonna stop and land safely on this painter's platform. And uh it turns out he did not. He slid in at something close to 80 miles an hour, smacked right into me, sent me through the plate glass window behind me, through the door into the hallway, and then in through the next door where a Rottweiler ate me. So, unbeknownst to me, I became the anchor for a grappling hook. I'll figure this out afterward. Um... <laughs> The, uh, the fellow, uh, on the painter's platform, uh, fell off completely unprovoked. I have no idea what caused that to happen. He just catapulted over the side. Uh, spectacular to watch. Uh, you know, it's like, you don't realize how much wind there is until you watch a body fall. Uh, and then, uh, my customer... Without paying or even tipping, he he jumped ship. He went down the rope that was attached to me in the grappling hook, and uh, you know he careened across the across the gap and smacked the other guy that was on the platform, who cartoonishly bounced back with physics defying force. And I have no idea what happened to him. I imagine he survived. Uh, and all of that weight. Uh, that was on the rope, uh, you know, I had to really brace myself to, uh, to, you know, withstand the forces. But then once my customer made it to the other side, suddenly there wasn't all that weight. And so I overcompensated. I, I took several staggering steps backwards, hit the window, it flexed, pushed me back <laughs> out. I toppled over the balcony, but I had a rope. So I knew. That whatever happened next would be real interesting, but possibly survivable. It wasn't. <laughs> I hit. I sw I swung. I swung down. I hit the building across the street. Bounced back. And I don't know why or how, but suddenly there was no tension on the rope anymore. And I went the rest of the way down uh, and landed on uh, the garden roof of the first story. Uh, fell right into a tree uh, with, a, with a pretty sturdy branch that uh, didn't break my fall uh, at all. And I guess I perished in nature, though. 
Okay, so, so far, so rad. I'm sliding down that thing, and, like, the one guy, he already, you know, he slides off of the thing, and he tumbles down and dies. But I figure, no, the other guy, I'm going to save that guy. So I am I slide down on my belt, and, uh, and you know, I just, you know, the guy must have misjudged how fast I was coming because I, I just go right into him, plow right into him. He goes through the window window breaks he's off over there i hear a dog dog's probably dead (laughs) so i'm like oh well no harm no foul i get a great selfie and then i notice my masseuse oh no i tied off the grappling hook on him this thing is swinging and now there's no weight on it i look back sure enough my masseuse he has fallen down and i'm thinking oh at least he has the rope right you know uh, so he's he's on the rope. He swings out. He hits the glass, and I realize, oh no, he's gonna bring down this whole painter's thing with him. So I go over, quick thinking on my part, and I just like I just kind of like shunt that grappling hook right on off. So he falls down. He's probably fine. The problem is by that point, just the wires above us were totally frayed. So I need to get off there in a hurry so i hop off that painter's thing into that window that one guy broke when he killed the dog and i watched the whole thing go falling down and i'm like oh yeah yeah i gotta get a selfie of this and i just you know i I pose for the selfie it's not quite right so i take a couple steps back and all of a sudden i'm here man Wow. That was a really tragic character, Mike. <laughs> got pancakes. I, I hope it was at least funny. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it was great. Cody got eaten by a dog. Yeah. I was impaled in a tree. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> the thought of that. So if there's a rope <coughs> that can stretch across a city street, and Dave is clearly at least 37 stories up. Higher than that because they have to slide down to the 37th <laughs> yeah. story. Fall straight down. The fucking G-forces on that swing into that building. <laughs> Holy crap. Thank, thank you so much for calling out. <laughs> wow, they fell 10 stories. 10 stories. Yeah. And they're fine. Unbelievable. <laughs> Bounces on. Oh, oh god damn. God. Oh. That's a good game. That was a great game. Very gruesome. Fun. <laughs> wow. Oh man. Whew. <sighs> okay. Wow. That was a ride. Mm. Now that we have gotten all worked up over that, let's uh let's calm things down a little bit. Let's uh, you know, make it a little bit more uh soothing and re- had some some fun with physics. Now some yeah. fun with metaphysics. What? I don't even know what that means. Are they here? No one does. Uh, the physics? Metaphysics. That we're going to meet? The, no, John uh, said we're going to have fun with metaphysics. Oh. We we have to meet them first, and then we can have met the physics. Uh, nope. Nope. Let's show, move show it right over. along. Show over. Let's just go. Dave ruined comedy. Let's just keep going. Don't stop. Do you have enough? Hashtag. Welcome well, to Cody's well, Words of Wisdom. wisdom. Soak up the knowledge. If any of you have ever had the chance to hear that this opera is coming to town, I'm going to warn you not to go. There are bear traps in the seats, and they bait them with little bits of cheese, and you think, cheese for a bear? That doesn't make any sense, but it's for John. John is allergic to bear traps, so he tries to save the cheese from them, and before his plane ticket can expire, all of the Groupons have changed their IP address, so he can't even hack into the servers anymore. Look at this rosacea crawling all over these tiny, tiny teens. It doesn't matter that they're trying to fight their way out of a cage. No! These chickens are angry, and they're going to punch you right in the stones. So before you put that microwave 15 seconds, I want you to think about the consequences of your actions. And if your dad was here, would he say, that kite doesn't fit inside that turkey? It does. He's a liar, and he's going to go to the court for everything he's done, especially those lottery tickets. I think they smelled like saffron. Antimatter is not going to do the job here, Jacob. All right. 
All right. All right. Nice. That was that was tense. Jacob mm-hmm. sure got a dressing down. Did you yeah. some right? He knew what he, he knew. He knew. He I was all into that bear cheese. <laughs> <laughs> John's not. No. 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 <laughs> not into the bear cheese. It's one. not sanitary. <laughs> Just the idea, that visual of bear traps at an opera, just in the seats. <laughs> I don't know. Weird. I don't know either. <laughs> I'm confused. Good. I'll let my job here is done. So I always save G13 for those bear traps. Mm. <laughs> yeah, superstition, merit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, with that out of the way, there's uh, not much more to do. So uh, <clears throat> if there's anything about this episode that you enjoyed in particular, what you found you are fancy tickled by, then please head on over to wastingallthetime.com slash vote and let us know about it. Please do. Yes. And if there's anything in this episode that you particularly did not like, me, uh, tweet at me, at Jay Hansen himself. No one checks that. So you can say all the mean things you want and no one's feelings will be hurt. It is a real Except Twitter account with the exception being that no one uses it. So is it real? Oh. Mm. Tweet tweets on the internet. Tweet tweet. If a tree falls and a tweet. Okay, anyway. Thanks very much for listening, everyone. We really appreciate yes, it. Yes, thanks ever so much. And until next time, my name is Dave. I'm John. <laughs> I remain Cody. <laughs> I, I'm Mike. And a special guest. We wasted all of the time. Yeah, we did. <laughs> right to the end. <laughs> bon voyage. Damn it. Good night, folks. I'm sorry. <laughs> Congratulations, you've made it to the end of another episode of Wasting All the Time, a podcast. If you enjoyed this show, then please consider subscribing on Apple Podcasts or Stitcher, or follow us on Spotify. If you really enjoyed the show, then head on over to patreon.com slash timewastepod and become a supporter of our time-wasting efforts. Now, that was a lot of things I just threw at you, so if you forget all of that, just head on over to wastingallthetime.com. And there, we have all the answers. The people like developing computers in Minecraft that th- blow my mind. Absolutely. Oh, it's that new uh, command block, right? Not no. new, but. No, I mean, the people, you can build logic gates with redstone. Oh, yeah. And so people do and then arrange <laughs> them in sequences that creates computing devices that accomplish tasks <laughs> and how, compute things. <laughs> when, when, how long until they can, can compute Minecraft in Minecraft? I don't know. Somebody did like Mario Brothers. Uh, <laughs> oh shit! So probably not that far off. All right, that, that's the uprising. That's the singularity right there. Mm, Minecraft. That, some crazy. So that's stuff. what I've not been up to. Thanks, Notch. <laughs> yeah. He sold it to Microsoft. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs>